Hey everyone, welcome to our balance sheet. Uh, nice blast from the past. Let's take a look at what we need to do. So we have our blank balance sheet and they've given us some information. Uh, you can see that information I've just copied over here into Excel. So we're gonna first organize our balance sheet into uh, correct categories and then we will get our figures. So current assets, well, we know it's gonna be our cash, accounts receivable, inventory, and uh, be aware of a lot of other um, <clears throat> accounts. So this is our other current assets. Now we can move on to our uh, long-term. So long-term investments, our equipment and all that property that's included. Goodwill is also included. And we also have our other non-current assets. Move on to our current liabilities. Start with our accounts payable and our short-term debt. We can move on to our long-term liabilities starting with our long-term debt and any other other non-current liabilities and finally we move on to our common stock and retained earnings all right so we have the correct order now we can just um, get our numbers in order so we'll start with cash and move down our current assets so accounts receivable inventory and other current assets okay wonderful now we can add these up our total oh, let's be clear this is our total current assets <clears throat> Now let's move on to our long-term assets, starting with our long-term investments. Our equipment. Goodwill. And another, other non-current assets. So then we will figure out our total assets. So that's gonna be our total current plus our individual long-term assets in this case. All right, now we can move on to the other side, starting with our liabilities. So current liability is our accounts payable. And we have our short-term debt. I'm gonna add up our total current liabilities. And we can move on to our long-term liabilities, starting with our long-term debt. And other non-current. And now we can determine our total liabilities. Okay, just like we did with our assets. We can add our currents plus our long-term, in this case, liabilities. And finally, we have our common stock and retained earnings. a couple so if we want our total owner's equity it's just going to be common stock to retain earnings and finally we want our total owner's equity but we also want to add our liabilities and that's going to be our total liabilities plus our owner's equity. Okay, well, at least we balance. That's a good start. So we'll just go ahead and punch that into our balance sheet. Let's 
Give me one moment. Thanks for waiting. Well, let's check it out. Excellent. Thanks for watching again and happy financing.